They flew a pride flag right over there on those, on those poles, underneath the American flag. I can't fly my flag there for a whole month. Well, you, what, town, what flag would you want to put up there? A Christian flag or, or uh, white men count too. Yes, old white man, please explain to us how and why the system that you have benefited from your entire life and continue to benefit from is now somehow against you. Do you feel that, that white men are being marginalized in, in the absolutely, country? Absolutely, absolutely. Really? Yeah. And what, what's, what's, what's an evidence of that? What's evidence of that? Oh, come on, man. Of course, he goes silent when actually asked to engage with and question his own beliefs, which go exactly how you would expect it to go. Just like an example of one example of it. Well, the example of what we were just talking about, what, you know, the BLM, uh, Black Lives Matter, Women's Lives Matter. But what about older white men's? Our, our lives matter, too. There you go. There's one example. What this brain cell deficient individual is saying is really a white supremacist talking for it, even though on the surface it may not seem like that. To me, this is a clear example of increased social equality looking like oppression for the dominant class, in this case, white men. That's why homie's all up in his feelings about it. And it's no surprise that these beliefs are commonplace when the former most watched newscaster built his entire show around it. Remember the great replacement theory? Was it conspiracy theory? It sounds more like a statistical fact, actually. Was there a vote on this? Did we get to vote on this? Do people want this? Democracy, remember that? That's where people vote and they decide what kind of government they get and what sort of policies that government enacts. No, no, no one voted on this. Nobody wants this. It's happening anyway against the will of the entire country. The great replacement theory that Tucker Carlson was mentioning is not factual whatsoever. White Americans make up 75% of the population. The next highest demographic, Hispanic or Latino, 19%. Then you have black Americans, 13%. So there's no basis, factually incorrect. And then this is something that Fox and other right-wing networks do to dog whistle to their openly racist viewers. But some people are not as subtle in the dog whistle. There is an attempted cultural genocide going on in America right now, and it calls for patriots to stand up and say, this is a great country. It is worthy of our pride and our defense. The, uh, the left wants us to be ashamed of America so that they can replace America. I love this country, and I think that we ought to do a lot more to push back against the hate that we're seeing. What is Matt Gates talking about? He's spewing out a whole bunch of word vomit. Cultural genocide? What culture are we talking about? Huh? We talking about the culture of oppression by the dominant group and here the white people? Yeah, we're trying to stop that out and exterminate that, that culture. Patriots, true patriots, are individuals who love the country but criticize it because they want it to be better and they want to hold the country accountable and replace America. What, is, what does America stand for, huh? What are we replacing? I thought America was the land of the free, the land of the immigrants. We embrace each other's differences. But all these points are just blatant white supremacist dog whistles that resonate with voters. You know, people are always accusing Trump supporters of being violent or racist, but we're here at this Trump rally and I, I just don't see it. Wait, I thought y'all said that being proud of the Confederate flag had to do with y'all heritage, y'all ancestors. Oh, that was a load of BS. Yeah, we knew that. Yeah, from the jump. But it just shows you how much of a chokehold white supremacy has in our society within the political system and within our culture. And I'm honestly not sure if we're going to be able to eradicate white supremacy from the country with the current system we live in, which is a representative democracy and a capitalistic society. You combine those two systems together, yeah, you can make strides and progress, but to completely eliminate white supremacy, probably going to have to move to another system. But it doesn't mean we will not stop trying. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to fight until the day I die. That's just how it is. For Rebel HQ, I'm Chris Williamson. We'll see you next time.